Ladies and gentlemen, I'm truly delighted to be joined with trainer Manny Robles from Tampa, Florida. How are you, sir? I'm, uh, I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, fantastic. Um, uh, you had another fight recently as well. You had a, uh, uh, a trip out to uh, Puerto Rico. Um, Obviously, your fight didn't didn't come out victorious, but an absolutely amazing fight, uh, Serhai Burchuk against uh, Brandon Ad Adams. Um, wow, what a night! How was how how were things in uh, uh, Puerto Rico um, despite the uh, despite the loss to your fighter? Good, good, good. I mean, Puerto Rico is a beautiful beautiful place to visit. Yeah. I mean, uh, I wouldn't mind going there more often. Uh, unfortunately, we had a, you know, sir, he was doing very well in the fight, uh, but he got a little distracted and, uh, you know, got a little overconfident and he got caught with the, with the left hook that, that we, that I, you know, we had been working on prior to the mm -hmm. fight, during the fight, I'd advise him to look out for the hook. And unfortunately, it was one of those situations where he got, he, like I said, he got a, a little distracted and, and got caught with the hook and it cost him the fight. Yeah. So, so where are you looking to go now? What, what is he been back in the gym already, or is he having yeah, a little back, time now? He's back in the gym on Monday, and you know okay. we're just gonna you know, get back into get back to training and get back in the on the, on the winning column. Uh, you know we lost the battle, but not the war. You know, yeah. I mean it's just uh, it's a, a bump on the road. You know, I always say you learn more from your defeats than you do from your wins. So this is mm. this was definitely a learning experience for him. Uh, and you know, I, I believe he's going to become a better fighter after, after this loss, he's going to be a, a better fighter. Uh, he's, sometimes you need for these type of, you, you wish they would never happen, but when they do, you know, you gotta, you, you gotta take the positive and, and know that it, it was a learning experience and we have to be able to move on from it. Yeah. It's interesting. You seem, you seem so calm about that. When you talk about that, is that, is that, <laughs> uh, is that something, um, uh, you know, are there other experiences that come to your mind throughout your, your vast career um, where you've had to sort of use that, that mindset and realize, um, you know, take that loss and, and, and use, draw everything out of that loss you can to make yourself a, a, a better fighter? Well, yeah, I mean, stop and think that we've fought Brandon Adams. Brandon Adams is a very tough fighter. He's a yeah. tough fighter for anybody. He's a, that was a tough challenge. You had two top rated fighters, two top 10 rated fighters in the world facing each other. It's a big fight. You know, the other guy wants to win as much as we do. You know, I understand, you know, we we're dominating the fight. We we're well ahead in the fight. And like mm -hmm. I said, he just got a little, a little um, overconfident. And, you know, I can't say that, that Brandon got lucky because there's no such thing as luck. At least I don't believe so. And, yeah. uh, you know, well, he's in a veteran fighter. He's, uh, he knows how to get through fights. He's been there before. And that's the that's something that uh, that um, that uh, Sergey had not uh, experienced in the past yeah. up until now. That's you know he had never been there before like like Brandon did, so he knew how to handle the situation mm. and and you know, got through it, got the victory. I can we congratulate I congratulate him personally after the fight. You know, you know show good sportsmanship. Hey, you know we understood. I knew from the get go it was going to be a tough fight. I knew from from right from the get go that it was not going to be an easy fight for us. Uh, that it was going to be a, a tough. He was going to be a tough opponent. And look, I wasn't wrong. I mean, anybody, any it's it's boxing, man. I mean, you know, anybody can win. Anybody can begin. Anybody on any on any given night, all it takes is one punch. And really, that's all it took was one punch, and, and that was it. Yeah. Um, how's Sergey? How's he at the moment in terms he's of? Good, his he's like I said, he's back. He's I've been I've, I've been calling him every other day to check yeah. up on him and and see where he's at emotionally, you know. Uh, yeah. Mentally. So he's he... good. He's back. He's back in the gym on Monday, and uh, we look forward to fighting, getting getting him back in the ring really soon. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to my uh, Ukrainian friend who we were talking about. Um, he got high. They got high hopes for him. Um, so moving on. Um, you you working with uh Jukumbayev, the Kazakhstan super lightweight. Yeah. Um, uh, what's going on? What's going on with him? There's been quite quiet news on him. I didn't know. Yeah, uh, probably, probably, probably June. We're looking at uh, June. Uh, right now, we're 
you know, we're uh, 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 trying to make sure that we, we can both under, are able to understand one another. I mean, before we yeah. move on to a fight, I, I got, you know, I got, I have to okay. have a chance to work with a fighter for a couple of months and, and, and for, the, for the fighter and I to get to know one another and see if it's a good fit, if there's chemistry, if there's a good understanding, and we can move on and take a fight. But I, I wouldn't want to take a fight right away. I got to know what I'm working with. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, you know, I, I spoke to the management and I said, the management team, and I said, hey, give me a couple of months to work with the kid before we can, you know, go ahead and, 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 and take a fight. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, from what you've seen of him, how, how good? You know, you, you still can't make that decision. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's yeah. pretty good. He's a pretty talented fighter. You know, he's yeah. he's undefeated. He's he's uh got a you know got a nice box. He's softball. Got pretty good power. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pretty good skills. You know, uh, he's a yeah. good fighter. Okay, interesting. Um, uh, I wanted to um uh ask you about one of your your former fighters. Um, Oscar Valdez had a uh yeah. a great performance against um. Uh, Miguel Burchell. Um, how how far do you really think he can go now? Um, you know, do do you think he could maybe go into that lightweight division and 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 really, you know, get some of them super super fights, which um, I've kind of eluded uh, him I a little bit. Getting, I, I think I think you're getting a little bit ahead of yourself. Yeah. You know, speaking of lightweight, when he just won the junior lightweight title, so let him let him get a, a couple of title defenses at the junior lightweight. Yeah. You know, he just won the title. Let him get one or two, a couple, a couple. You know, you got a, uh, you got some good fighters at one thirty. Yeah. And super featherweight division before you can start thinking about the lightweight division. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, well, well uh, interesting. Um, what, what do you make of? Uh, we've got a big fight coming up. It's been announced today. Um, the uh, the venue of it, the ATT Stadium. Um, Canelo and uh, Billy Joe Saunders. Um, someone who's based out on the other side of the the Atlantic. Uh, it'd be great to get your opinion on, do you think Billy Joe really has any sort of chance in in that sort of, uh, in that sort of fight? Not, not, not right now. No? I don't, think can be, I don't think anybody can beat Canelo right now. Canelo's in the, in the prime of his career, and, and I just don't see how, uh, you know, <laughs> Billy Joe Saunders can, can compete against Canelo. Uh, with all due respect, I'm not trying to disrespect anyone, anybody or any fighter. I just don't see how, you know, uh, Billy Joe Saunders can, he's a softball, so you got to give him that. And he's a yeah. slick softball. So we'll see how uh, Canelo is able to perform uh, versus a softball. But I, we've seen him in the past with that Islandi Lara, yeah. with uh, Austin Trout, you know, two legit. Uh, uh, Saul Paul's title uh, world champions, uh, former world champions that uh, Canelo has faced and he's done very well against them. So I don't see why he shouldn't do well against Billy Joe Saunders. Yeah. Is there, and obviously um, that was quite a long time ago, those fights you spoke about there with uh, Lara and co. So yeah, he has improved a, a, a tremendous amount. Um, is, there, is there anyone out there? Because we've seen such a, a, a even you know, a real quick improvement, even though he was such a high level anyway. Is, is there anyone out there who you think can give him a serious night's work, uh, you know, a realistic Benavides. opponent? Benavides, yeah. Benavides. Yeah. 160, at super middleweight Benavides. Yeah, yeah. How, how well, what's your, uh, your thinking for that? He is a, he's a very talented fighter. Yeah, I'm sure if he can keep himself, keep himself active, what's your, um, What's your main? You answer, you, you answer the question yourself. He's a very <laughs> talented fighter. Okay, fantastic. Well, uh, uh, oh, one. Uh, obviously, I wanted to talk to you, um, uh, Liam Smith. Um, is, is am I correct in that he's been he's been working with you at the moment? There have been some talk about him. He may be coming to train with you now. Yeah, he's in the gym now. Uh, we've been working for for the together for like the last few weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Getting, getting adjusted to the to, to training, the climate, the, the 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 time change, and things are going well. Things are going yeah. very well. Okay, so he's got, he's had a fight announced in in uh, Russia against uh, Kurbanov. Um, so uh, will you be taking taking lead role for that that upcoming bout? That's the plan. That's the yeah. Plan. Okay, fantastic. So it's great to get um, uh, some 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 confirmation on that. Uh, 
What are you expecting from that fight? That's uh, that's an interesting fight. We don't usually that's see the quit go to Russia. This is kind of like a, a change of the guard almost, in, uh, especially in the other side of, of the world from you at the moment in, uh, in the European region. What are, you, uh, right. what are you expecting from going to Russia? That's going to be interesting. Well, it's, it's definitely, well. We're, well, we're definitely not, not uh, you know, we're walking into the lines then. Uh, uh, you know, we're going to Russia. We're fighting a Russian in Russia. So, yeah. so, you know, it's going to be, uh, we got to definitely, uh, make a statement and, 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 you know, try to go out there and win, win clearly, uh, and, and hope, and hopefully, uh, if we can get a knockout great, but if not, you know, let's hope the, that the, the, the judges gave us, give us a fair, a fair shake, yeah. that, you know, a fair, a fair opportunity, a fair shake and, 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 uh, and may the best man win. Yeah, but I believe that uh, Liam Smith is definitely has the experience. He has the experience over over uh, over the opponent. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, he's a former world champion. Uh, uh, like I said, he's fought Canelo. He's fought uh, uh, Mungia, uh, yeah. uh, and that that you know we both, he lost in both of those fights. But I believe he learned a great deal. I, again, as I said before, I I believe you learn more from your defeats than you do from your victories. Yes. So. Liam is a more seasoned fighter. He's a more experienced fighter now, and and that's something that our opponent does not have. Yeah. So, so what made you want to work with uh, Liam Smith? What was it that that drew you he, guys together? They, they, he, they, they reached out to me. You know, his team and and Liam reached out to me, and they 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 you know they they had found interest in working with me, and now they're in California. Yeah. And so you were happy to happy to take them take them on on board. Well, fantastic. Well, uh, uh, are you working with any of the other Smith brothers? At the moment, or no, 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 just Liam, just Liam. Okay, well, fantastic. Um, how um, how much do you think he's got left? Could, do you think he can become a, a world champion again? Absolutely, you know, absolutely. He's not a. Uh, I mean, he's not old. He's no. got experience. He's a, you know still a young, relatively young fighter. Uh, he's got plenty of experience, and he's he's. Uh, and he wants it. It's how bad does he want it? That's the yeah. question. How bad? How bad does the fighter want it? You know what I mean? We're gonna take it one fight at a time. You know, hopefully, God willing, we'll get through this fight. And April eighth, which is a fight date uh, uh, that we have, we'll be able to get through through the fight with a with a win, a victory, and we'll be able to move on and you know, uh, uh, you know hopefully get a get a shot at the world title soon. Yeah. So um, so all going on uh, at the moment. I uh, see. Uh... What other fights you got? I see you signed amateur. Well, that was in, uh, what else you I got? Was in, uh, you forgot to mention that was in um, at a uh, in Connecticut last week, and uh, uh, in uh, 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 the Benavides card. As a matter of fact, we fought. Oh, of course, him. yeah, with uh, 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 uh Gauche. Terrell Gauche, yeah, sorry, excuse me. Um, yeah, Gauche, I said Gauche, excuse me, I always said Gauche. Um, but uh, yeah, he had a win. Um, uh, well, well, that, you must be delighted with that. Um, what are you looking to do with him next? A second round knockout, and it puts him right back in the mix at the 154-pound weight class, super welterweight weight class, and, you know, put, you know, with the impressive second round uh, uh, knockout that he took TKO. Uh, you know, hopefully, uh, PBC Al Heyman uh, yeah. was very Al, Al Heyman was very pleased with this performance to begin with, and and uh, you know it, it's gonna put him right back in the mix, and you know hopefully get a shot at a world title soon. Yeah. Um, so a, a really a really busy gym at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm always busy. Thank God. Yeah, I, I see you. You signed a, a amateur. Uh, I haven't seen much of him myself. Is it Ahmed Medina? That's another yeah, guy you Medina. brought. Yeah, he's, um, he's turning pro. He's turning pro next week. I'm. Uh, yeah, we're going to Mexico next week. I'm turning him pro next week. Uh, 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 we have a card set up for him. Yeah, and uh, hopefully things will go well. And we have another. Uh, we're going to Nicaragua in May uh, with uh, Rosendo Alvarez uh, Buffalo Promotions in uh, in Nicaragua. He's a Nicar Nicaraguan descent. Uh, 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 Medina is so we'll be going to Nicaragua in May and you know hopefully uh, build his career out there you know start building his career it, it, it only makes sense right he's from Nicaragua he's of Nicaragua yeah that's interesting he's right to go to Nicaragua and, and, and 
and uh, you know build his record out there. Yeah. Okay. So, so you've got what's the scene like in Nicaragua? I know. I know they've obviously got some. Nicaragua is well, you know, I mean, but... Alexis Alexis Arguello. Uh, mm. You know, some of the great you know boxing world champions have come out of Nicaragua, like Alexis Arguello and yeah, of course, and Chocolatito, Chocolatito yeah. Gonzalez. Uh, 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 Rosendo Alvarez, yeah, you know, El Buffalo. Uh, you know, they've had some great world champions in, in, in Nicaragua, and obviously coming out of Central America, you know, you got Panama, you know, with uh, Roberto Duran, you got Nicaragua, you got Alexis Arguello coming out of Nicaragua, and, and so, so there's forth. a real so, there's a real passion amongst the the, the general yeah. people of uh, oh, Nicaragua, yeah, boxing, with boxing. Boxing, yeah. boxing is huge in Nicaragua, boxing is oh. huge. Interesting. Huge point. Yeah, excellent. Very, very, very good. I'll, 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 I'll end. Uh, I'll end on this question. Um, uh, you because you brought up chocolate and we talk about Nicaragua. Um, what did you make of uh, his fight with uh, Estrada and the? Um, and what was your opinion on the scorecards? There's been loads of loads of talk and controversy about that. Uh, what's your opinion, Manny? This was a hell of a fight. It was a hell of a right fight. Time. I feel like the fight could have gone either way. The fight could have gone either way. Obviously, if you, you know, uh, um, I feel like Chocolatito had the edge and at the end of winning, you know, closing out strong those last couple of rounds. So if I had to favor anybody, I would probably favor Chocolatito, but but uh, a, a draw would have been nice. A draw would have not, would, wouldn't, would have uh, been fair for both mm -hmm. fighters. So, you know, but it is what it is. I mean, you know, the judges saw it differently, especially particularly one of the judges, yeah. right? nine, nine, out of, nine out of 12 rounds giving, giving them to, to Gallo Estrada. I mean, I don't know what he was watching. Yeah. But, uh, but it is what it is. I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's boxing. We're only human. You know, everybody makes mistakes and, and, and this is one of them. <laughs> yeah, big one. Um, I, there was a, uh, one of the, that, that, that judge we're talking about got suspended by uh, the organization. Uh, what do you make about that? We don't really see that. Uh, too, too much. What, what's he suspended? What, what, how long is he suspended for? Life? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Ask yourself that question. Life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. You know what I'm saying? What's he suspended for? What's what's his punishment? Yeah. You know, that's something that we should all be asking ourselves. We should all be asking ourselves that question. Uh, you know, not just with this fight, but with other fights. Really? Yeah. How long? What is the pun what is the punishment for for a for a, a judge making a bad call? I mean, really, what what is what is how do you how do you suspend someone? What do you you suspend someone for a month or a year or do you, what what is the you know what is you know what is the punishment for for yeah. for uh, making such a bad decision such a bad call? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think there just needs to, yeah there needs to be more incentive to do it properly. I think I, I think, I think somebody good. needs to I think I I think the sanctioning body needs to in, inform the the. The general public, the, the you know the the boxing fans, the journalists out there, mm. what what procedures are taking place when when a referee makes such a bad call, mm. such bad judgment? What what is, you know, what's what what happens? Nobody knows. Do you know? No, well, it's so it's such a a gray area, isn't it? There's no. There's no they're, they're you all... don't know. I don't know. We just don't. We just know that the the the, uh, the judge has been suspended. Suspended for what? You know. Yeah, yeah. That's basically. <laughs> I, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Just for that's something that perhaps something that perhaps you might want to you know call the the you know the, the the president of the WBA and ask him that question. Yeah. You know what's going to happen to try to get an interview with 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 him and and ask what's going to happen to the judge going after making going on that call. What are you going to do to make sure he do it, does it does it correctly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Great more. Very interesting, Mr. Robles. Very interesting indeed. Um, I'll, I'll I'll leave it there. Um, I think we've had a nice chat. Uh, it's been great to get your your opinion and 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 all your news from you. Um, good luck tonight and and good luck in, in your upcoming fights. Um, we'll probably we'll probably be be back at you trying to get you on again. I'm sure. Um, and, and we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for uh, speaking to me. You got it. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Have a good day.